All right, a couple nights ago, had a little issue uh, with the autopilot, and we ended up driving twice, and then uh, because of the damage we sustained, uh, we had to drive twice again. Uh, once to take the sail down, and once to get back on course. And uh, the last drive resulted in basically our mainsail exploding um, to the point where we thought maybe it was irreparable, and um, maybe that was us for the leg. Um, uh, about the same time, we noticed that our competition um, wrecked their foil and that they were going to be compromised essentially for the rest of the leg. Uh, and it was at that, that point that we as a team decided that um, that we should conceal the fact that we were limping, uh, at least for a little bit. It wasn't going to be evident because we were still doing 15 to 17 knots and 30 knots of wind. And, um, you know, if it meant that those guys sailed a little bit casually for a couple hours, uh, and it gained us a couple miles in the long run, because if we're going to have a chance at this, that's all it's going to be. Um, you know, so we decided to keep it quiet. And now it's quite obvious, I'm sure, as we're going six knots and, um, you know, 10 to 12 knots of breeze that we got some issues here. Uh, but if it helped us gain some miles early on, you know, it was a strategic decision. Uh, really had no downside. Uh, we talked about it as a group. And uh, now, as you can see, we're in the process of preparing said mainsail. Uh, I'm sure the world knows we have issues, but what? Who knows? Um, but you know, now that Biotherm is back up and running, I'm sure it's irrelevant. Um, but again, if it gained us a couple miles early on, um, you know, we're kind of happy to keep it quiet. But uh, I'm sure the world will know soon if they don't already. But um, yeah. I mean, everything you can do to gain an advantage out here. So um, that's where we are. We're probably two hours from rehoisting, and hopefully it all sticks together. Adios. What are you up to, Jack? Um, just a bit of a check around the boat. Obviously we, you know, as we sail along through the leg, we, you know, we obviously repair things on board that, that, uh, you know, that we have to, to keep the boat sailing or to keep the boat performing well. Uh, and then obviously we have a job list that will get done when the boat gets to land. So it's sort of between broken things and just general servicing. Um, and, you know, this is, was meant to be the longest stopover period for, for work. And, you know, obviously we're, Still at sea, so there's you know a few days less than originally planned. Um, so just trying to get a bit of a jump on what needs doing and make it as clear as possible for the shore team before we arrive, so they can you know already have you know some of the loops and bits of rigging made and maybe bought some of the things that need to get purchased and you know just have the you know everything as lined up as possible, so that it's not like the boat arrives and then oh there's a heap of stuff that we need to um, need to get or source or or do. So that's um, yeah, I'll be slowly ticking away at that over the next day, just um, trying to make sure everything's there and there's nothing major that we've missed that um, will be a real hiccup in the work period because obviously you know, a lot of the parts on this boat are custom or they're quite hard to get hold of or uh, all that sort of thing. So if, uh, if we actually need material, it's um, sort of imperative we get it now to keep the whole show rolling.
so we're uh, locked in a battle with Biotherm here. We got 350 vials to the finish, and we're basically bow even. Um, but there's another race going on <laughs> as well, which is the race for our yard period. So, um, you know, at this point, we got 35 days of uh, jobs list, let's call it, uh, that's accumulated over the course of this leg, and um, we got to be prepared when we hit the dock. Um, to let the tech team know exactly, uh, you know, what they have in store, basically. Um, you know, those, those guys do a good job, and, um, you know, the more information we can arm them with, the better job they can do. So, um, trying to have a plan in place so that when we hit the dock, it's full go, and not hit the dock, and let's make a plan. So, um, it's not a ton of time, you know, especially with the delay out here. Um, you know, it's going to minimize the time we have before the next start. And as much as it's important to beat um, Biotherm here, we got to also make sure that the boat's prepared for the rest of the race. So, um, those guys are setting up shop right now and, you know, probably enjoying the last couple days doing some surfing in Brazil and whatnot. But uh, we'll be around the clock, I think, for them when we get in. And, you know, that's not lost on us. It's something we appreciate. So, anything we can do um, out here to make it easier uh, when we hit the dock for them, you know, we're, we're taking the opportunity to get done. So. A lot going on here in these final uh, final two three days.